Hi, everybody, once again. Hello. Last video, uh, the, the subject came up briefly of, um, I don't know exactly what it's called, electronic voice thing that showed up in this. Which song was that? The Scorpions song? Scorpions, the zoo. Yeah. And Peter Frampton used to do a lot of it. And Jeff said, oh, this thing in his mouth that, well, that uh, effect was invented by a guy named Pete Drake, like way back, I think, in the 30s, uh, very early on. And he did, uh, he, he used it, and then other artists incorporated it sometimes, not very often, but uh, it's an interesting effect, and I, I never was all that impressed with Peter Frampton, but the way Pete Drake uses it, I like it. And it's in my library. It's a, a song that is in my regular playlist. Uh, this one is Pete Drake. Um, it's uh, the name of the song is Forever, and it came out in 1964. Whoa. All right. We're going way back. All right, pre seventies, <laughs> yeah, pre seventies, yeah. We don't do we do pre seventies every yeah. once in a while. Yeah. All right, here we go. Forever, Pete Drake. His name is Pete Drake. He got the brilliant idea one time to make his steel guitar talk, and he actually does it right now with a beautiful song, "Forever." Pete Drake. A nice short one. You had brought up that uh, that effect, and I just we had to uh, throw that one out there. I I had no idea. I had no. Uh, I, it's so funny. It almost doesn't fit in that song, or at least my sort of conception of that kind of music. Right when it first started off, I was waiting for you know somebody to break out in like a speaking voice, right, and be like, "Baby, when I hold you tight, I love you so much." When I hold you in my arms, you know, or something, right? You know, it's like he, uh, do it. he does a version 
of uh, Bob Dylan's Lay Lady Lay. With his with his talking guitar? Yes. I, I saw that on the thing. It said, uh, what's his name? Pete, Pete? Pete Drake. Pete Drake and his talking steel guitar. There you go. <laughs> I I actually liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, and, you know, I would have never associated that effect with that style of music. Uh, or that it was that old that he came up with it that early. I mean, man. Yeah. So it impressed me. Had to throw one in there. Hmm. I, I, I like it. I thought I thought it was cool. Uh, you know, that's not normally my kind of uh, vibe, but, uh, you know, I dug it. And uh, cool. So that's it. So that was his gimmick. huh? So it sounds like he kind of like, you know, he did some other stuff uh, quite a while back. I read, I don't know, probably a Wikipedia thing about him. And he was um, he was well known in the music industry and came up with various innovations and uh, and also performed. Hmm. So one of these days when we're kind of looking at innovations in music or experimental stuff, we may have to play a Laurie Anderson song. Oh, I've got a Laurie Anderson in my library. That'd be a good one. Um, okay. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Oh, uh, that was great. Thanks for sharing that. I like it. And uh, now I've got a, a little piece of trivia, although I'm not, I can't remember the, the guy's name. I keep wanting to call him uh, like Pete Davis or something. What'd you say it was? Pete Drake. Pete Drake. Yeah. So then, you know, when, when next time I'm, you know, at a, at a party and, uh, you know, uh, Peter Frampton comes on. And somebody's like, that's cool. I'll say, you know where that came from? Pete Drake. And everybody will be go. really impressed with my, my knowledge. There you go. Yeah. Okay. A virtual encyclopedia, a virtual Wikipedia of Of trivia. useless information. Exactly. <laughs> you put some useless information? I got tons. <laughs> In. Useless information are us. <laughs> that's well, that's what the internet is, isn't it? Just about. Just <laughs> about. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.